everybody. On uh, <clears throat> an Otis twin post. Um, I don't know how many of you are familiar with these newer model Otis's. I guess it's kind of like a an MRL hydraulic. That's the tank in the system down there. It's kind of underneath you there. Um, not a huge fan of it. <clears throat> we replaced the cylinders fairly recently, um, but the scavenger line is right in line with, um, or sorry, it's adjacent to the inlet, which means that it gets wiped out um, by the car. So we're going to try and move the head um, so it's off to the side, which I think we can do. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get into that. Got our car position ready to go. We're going to take the bolts out. And then we'll collapse the cylinder down, loosen these, and see if we can turn it. Have a look after. Okay, we got. Um, all the Allen keys, Allen bolts, hex head bolts, whatever you want to call them. That's not right. Why is it doing that? All the hex bolts down there, loosened up. I had to use this tight. So we're going to pull this up, spin it so that the scavenger is back here. Tighten her back up again. And then obviously, same on that side. Okay, you can see we got it turned now, our scavenger's out this side. All right, have we put it on yet? Minimal oil loss. So that's uh, good news. Dude, this thing's so hot. The rook, putting the head back on. Zigzagging her so it pulls it down nice and evenly. So tight to the wall. It's a good thing I got the ruck on it. Got here, bud. Okay, we're ready to pop the uh, set up here. Nice and gently. You see the seals are on the inside, so we're not going to damage it if we use the screwdriver. We might need to get something else in there as well, but it does come up fairly easy. Yeah, you're going to have to got it uh, back in. We're going to leave it on a bit of an angle instead of straight out the back like the other one. And then you got to use the bolts uh, to pull it down, just like a tire, zigzag your way around. So as well as the cylinder heads, we got some directives to fix the emergency light, which is that, as well as do the annual pressure test. So I've got my uh, gauge hooked up. We can see... Our working pressure is 410 and our relief is 520. So uh, go ahead, we'll uh, see what we got. I'm gonna shut it on its way up. Get that light fixed. Okay, we got our COP open. This is our emergency light up here. It's already unplugged. Take that out. Put our new one in and then we'll test it out. So unfortunately, the emergency light still isn't working. Got some more digging to do. Um, original diagnosis didn't seem to be right, but it is uh, still not working. So we put the old one back in, left the new one here. I have a service call I need to run off to. So we're going to deal with this another day. Thanks for watching, everyone.